sophomore Max Johnson, who started the last two games last year, won them both. He's the son of the former Super Bowl champion quarterback Brad Johnson, the nephew of Mark Rick. And was supposed to be in a competition for the job with Miles Brennan, but Brennan breaks his arm before the start of camp. And it's not fair to say he wins the job by default. A lot of people on LSU's camp thought Max Johnson was going to win the job anyways. One of the questions folks have about this Tigers team, what does he look like in a full season as opposed to this, those two games? Johnson looks to throw, and the lefty has a man. It's Jeray Jenkins for academic reasons. So heavy load coming for Davis Price, part of a very veteran defense, 11 senior starters. Johnson, given time, steps up and delivers for Jack Besh. It's what they do. It's what they did a week ago against Hawaii. You see the late rush there. They rush to cover. So they're playing man-to-man -man coverage, and if their guy stays in to block, they're going to try to bring one more than you can get home to do in the system. There's a lot of green grass. That is broken up. And what he is built to do, he said he's grown in his coverage skills, but he times these snaps so well. He is a sixth-year senior, and the ball awareness there, that is... Johnson against the three-man rush, steps up in the pocket, pumps, runs, and gets popped out of bounds after a gain of one. Here comes pressure. Johnson steps up, in trouble, and down. The ball is out. LSU appears to be back on top of it. They do not show. They disguise so very well. Look at the pressure coming from the corner. The linebacker is going to bail. They are going to change the picture, Joe. Pre and post snap on this young lefty as much as they possibly can and get pressure in his face. That was the game plan. And for the so here we go. Second drive for the Tigers. UCLA brings pressure and a quick throw. It's at any level in his first game. They rush only three this time. Underneath, it's Trey Palmer in here. For UCLA, just limit the explosive play as much as possible. Johnson sets the feet, lets it fly. That is a big time throw, but out of bounds. They just barely get it off in time. Pressure comes, they beat it with Butte. His first catch of the day takes him to the 40s. Burning the play clock. Third down, into the flats. Davis Price has a first down. But he lined up, or you play fast like this, it says with a first time coordinator. And a relatively new quarterback. Bruins bring it. Johnson gets drilled. He had no shot. It's Coming in from where? And for the center and for the running backs as well. That is just an extra defender. Also been sacked. Hardy three times. Scrambling to his left. Chased by Calvert. In trouble again. And hit by Otito. Max Johnson facing pressure. This time he beats it with Coy Moore getting his first catch of the day. And getting his talent, how much speed they have on the edge. Get it to it and let it work. Here they go again to Devontae Lee. On second and ten. Pressure coming out of the secondary. He beats it to the sideline for the freshman Brian Thomas. We're just trying to get the young freshman down, but watch the timing anticipation. This is why Ed loves Max Johnson. Two guys barreling down on him. He knows he's going to take a shot. Pressure again. They go the other way. Jerry Jenkins makes it for inside the five on first and goal. The most experienced piece. On second and goal. He'll look to throw. Into the end zone. Boutte! It's even when the field condenses, he's number one on a little out route right here, and you can see the corner. Right? He just fears that explosion. That's actually a huge breakout of Butte, who finished so strong and starts this season similarly. Hustling. This is a corner. If he just releases here, the corner's going to cover him. But Sean McVay's watching this going, that's right, Jake. Don't put him on a corner. Put him on a safety and allow the quarterback to play with anticipation, throw into that window, because when you attack safeties, you can play faster. The seventh on the all-time list at UCLA. Tigers. On second down, play action, and blown coverage. They had a touchdown if he'd put it on Palmer. All of the pressure comes here. There is nobody. It's a little run pass option. <laughs> and the ball, it looks like may have got tipped or just came out of his hand. Incredibly funky. Standing. They twist. He's well protected. He gets rid of it, but it's incomplete. Exotic. LA's exotic, so play defense that's equal to the city. Bring people from everywhere. Stunt, move. High effort and then a good. So he's back in the right tackle. 
Drive begins with a Johnson throw into the short side out of the backfield. Josh Williams, his first touch. Pressure coming out of the secondary. Johnson trying to beat it over the top. Boutte incomplete. Yeah, that's one that sucks the oxygen right out of your lungs. It's Quinton Lake. You wear the rib protectors. You have the shoulder pads. But when you're exposed like that, and that is a clean hit. I love that target from Quinton Lake, right? Second and ten, another throw. On the out pattern, Coy Moore around the line of scrimmage. Johnson back to throw. Steps up over the middle and complete. Looking for. So fresh to downs from the 40. Quick trigger outside Trey Palmer. UCLA rallies. Guys. On second down, quick throw again. Trey Palmer trying to pierce it against the green. Johnson looks right. Pressure in his face. Too tall for Bash. And it's fourth down by Ed Orgeron to punt and back him up. Johnson finds a hole in the zone. Keyshawn Butte slips a couple of tackles. The two guys you mentioned scored almost 50 points a game in the championship season. Jailbreak there as they toss it into the end zone and it's broken up by P.I. Johnson back to pass looking in Butte's direction through his hands and then off the hands of Shaw. You saw Joe, that one-on-one, -on -one, not just the numbers on the jersey, but the situation for Butte there. That's what he usually comes down with. Johnson looks to throw again. Scan in the field, directing traffic, lofting for the corner, and incomplete. Oh, facing third and goal here. Pressure coming again. Johnson backpedaling. In zone. Palmer incomplete. Yes. Then you can block. It's coming. Max tries to retreat and retreat, and he just leaves it inside. First play of the drive. Johnson steps into a throw. Jenkins can't haul it in. Second and ten. Nope. Johnson floating for Boutte. Makes the adjustment, but the ball comes out. You said earlier about all the veteran guys on this defense. If you miss just a little bit inside, right, that's, that's a good throw. But it's not a great throw. And the losses by a combined 15 points. It's been the message all offseason. Fifth plays of that first half were passes as they just couldn't get anything going on the ground. Two for nine on third down in the first half. It's a quarterback sneak, and with a second effort, Johnson will get it. With Butte, which they've gone after any time they've had. Looking in that direction. On the move, Johnson will get decked. To the three catches in the first half, 21 yards, and LSU's touchdown. Back to the ground. This time the blitz is picked up. Coverage downfield is tight. Johnson runs, turns the corner, and gets a first down. To do this, once again, just an exotic look on third down. People in every one of the throwing lanes, but enough green grass and enough athleticism. I think that's the mom, Nikki, the volleyball stud that gave him that kind of twitch. Quick. They come again. He's run it early, so you're trying to sneak the big tight end out here. But unfortunately, the ball sails over the six foot seven Taylor, the tight end, and right into the arms. They'll throw on first down here, just a three man rush. One of the first times he's seen this many guys in coverage. He makes one miss and step. Second down and seven. This time they bring pressure. Low throw, pulled in. Just get the ball to your playmakers. That's what they do here. Into the hands of Palmer. They take what the defense gives them. And Johnson delivers the strike. And there goes Boutte. House call, touchdown. LSU says thank you, Rodney Lowry. From the 25-yard line, play action in the first play of the drive. Trey Palmer. That's where the damage can be done. Johnson resets, lets it go, and has close to it. From UCLA late, that's going to come here. Just more of a distraction. A nice job by LSU. Two Tigers there, boys. 75 yards, two touchdowns from the 46. On 
and second down. Johnson backpedaling, sets his feet and throws high for Jenkins. Here they come. Johnson steps away, turns the shoulders, and finds Butte for a first down. As a quarterback, you turn your shoulders. He knows what's coming. Looks like punt block, right? You just do that drill. You practice it, and what tremendous effort there by the running back as well. Davis Price coming in, throwing his body, and then a perfect strike. Inside the 40 with a first and ten. Second and six, they're bringing pressure again. They beat it with Butte. Dances into the clear, and it's four of those coming since halftime. Fresh set of downs from the 23. Johnson turns and throws low, and complete for Paul. On second down and 10, Johnson looks to throw with a twist up front. He steps up, he tucks it and goes, dives forward to the... He does. Given time. Oh, my goodness, he heaves it up incomplete. And I know Mahomes has got a bunch of no-look passes, but not that one. Oh, no. He is lucky that this falls harmlessly to the Rose Bowl field. Wow. They will set her back. First down from the 30, facing pressure as he has all night. Delivers down, so second and six. Johnson looks to throw again. Quick trigger again for Trey Palmer, who gets ripped. As cloudy as they can for Johnson. Here comes a four-man rush. Johnson gets rid of it. Go, LSU going to need to move quickly. On first down, Max Johnson. Throws incomplete. He plays on behind. A little bit of a line stunt. Let Sabonia once again tee off. Max is going to be unbelievable. On second down, stands in, delivers a strike. He's got Jare Jenkins. Play. Russ is only four. Able to get home even with four. Ball is out. And re Everywhere, but he gets beat off the jump. It's all with the hands right there once again. You watch hard knocks. You watch those D-line. When they watch that Hawaii game back from last week. They do bring pressure on second and 15. Johnson has an open Chris Hilton. Incomplete. On third down and 15, they bail out of a pressure look and rush only three. Johnson moves off his spot, directs traffic. And now will load up and deliver for more. Trying to sneak it and they'll get it. Johnson has Butte with a flag down. Keishon Butte steps out of the tackle and takes it in. Illegal substitution on the defense. That penalty is declined. The result of the play, touchdown. Field. Savvy move. Max knew he had a free play and it would be the difference maker.